Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Friday Vibes. It's Antonomy Campus Edition. My name is Esther and I'm here with Florence, who was my Campus Edition classmate. Please introduce yourself. Uh, thank you for having me, Esther. My mm. name is Florence and I'm the Managing Director of SIP Creative Galaxy, which is um, a storytelling agency that promotes mm. applied arts through film. Uh, so tell me, what is SIP Creative? Like, expound, what do you do there? Um, I story tell. Yes. That's the uh -huh. best thing about it. Mm -hmm. And I make money from it, which is basically what I learned from here. Mm -hmm. Yes. So what I do, I use creative arts like mm -hmm. fashion, like mm -hmm. set design, mm -hmm. like music. And I really bring out messages and we incorporate that with film to create mm -hmm. a whole new dimension of creative communication. So yeah. will it will you say it's like advertising through storytelling? Well, advertising is a good word, but uh -huh. not always. Mm -hmm. I think there are always stories to be told beyond like advertising. Ah, uh, okay. Whether we want to tackle social issues like, for example, peace within mm -hmm. the country, or we want to just tackle storytelling. Um, I think it's just about embracing your creative juice and mm. using that to be relevant to what's happening in society. Ah, okay. So when did you start Sip Creative? I started Sip Creative four months ago. Ah, all right. It's young. Quite young. <laughs> yes. It's young. It was a risk. I didn't even know what it would be. And that's mm. been the exciting part of the journey because I feel like um, Centonomy is one of those places that dared me to dream big. Mm -hmm. Very honestly, I'll say that. Yeah. And I said, well, I want to make money out of this thing mm -hmm. that I like doing. I used to have lots of ideas. Mm -hmm. In fact, some of my family members would be like, oh my goodness, you have too many ideas. <laughs> yeah, like we're going to concentrate. Yeah, we're going to and concentrate. Like but I was like, man, can I just put them in order? Mm -hmm message them, okay. brand them, display them beautifully, mm -hmm. and allow them to bring positive change and relevance and entertainment mm -hmm. to people. So, yeah. Uh -huh. All right. So, um, you said you're 23. Yes. So, what, how would you say, um, like, the process of starting a company, being an MD of a company, where you, like, you're still young? Um, first thing, it's so exciting. Yeah. I love the energy that I have as a young person to mm -hmm. just go out and do what I love. Like, work is fun for me. Like, mm -hmm. very honestly, Esther, work is a lot of fun. It's not easy. I didn't say mm -hmm. it was easy, but it's fun to do what I love. Mm -hmm. And being a young person, it takes a lot of humility because, yes, you're in a space where you want to be recognized, you want to be supported, mm -hmm. but you know there's so much to learn mm. and i'm still filled with amazement when i sit in oh, rooms okay. with people who've worked over many years mm. in the creative spaces mm. and still have something to say to me and i'm in this place where i'm absorbing a lot mm. but also remaining very firm about what i want okay and very established about my goals mm -hmm. where i'm going my projections, you know, yeah, yeah, we have learned in mm -hmm. class, you yeah. know, together <laughs> how to be like. I remember we did, did we do the last class with you where we were doing um, the company. We were supposed to develop a company that was to earn like five million. Yeah, I think the year. challenge was five, make five million in yes. three years, and then. Um, starting capital was around either 50 Gs or 100 Gs. So yeah. I think for a young person, because you don't have the experience, you have mm. to have the facts, you have to have the vision, mm. and you have to be consistent. Mm. So I think as a young person, that's what I've learned, to just be very firm and mm. very objective and clear mm. about what I want to do and how I want to do it and what is going to be the impact. Yeah. And I think that's something that a lot of young people lack, like uh, following through something, being yeah. objective, as much as we have this bigger picture of where we want to go, what we want to do, like they lose sight of where, you know, like the, the path. Yeah. So I think that really connects with young people. Let me just ask, while starting a company, did you like require a large amount of capital? Because that's something that young people struggle with. 
Well, we did require a lot of capital. Mm -hmm. um, looking at the description and the definition of what our project was, mm -hmm. we wrote down everything we needed to achieve first before determining the budget. Ah, okay. Um, so we knew where we wanted to shoot, how mm -hmm. much it was going to cost, and those determined our costs. Um, and we were privileged to be granted, you know, a substantial amount of money. Mm. For us, you know, being 23 and handling thousands of dollars for um, a job like this is mm. pretty big. And, you know, you have to be accountable, you have to be responsible, you have to learn to take care of people because mm. I had people working with me at a team. And it was such a huge privilege. I mm. was excited, I was scared, <laughs> I was not sleeping. Yeah. But it came out well and we were able to launch from mm. the time we started in September, we launched okay. at the beginning of November. All right, so you said about the funds. So did you get an external investor or how did you go about it? Um, how I went about it, first of all, mm. I have always had this drive to just work mm -hmm. to get capital for something. I didn't know okay. what. <laughs> yeah, some of us who just, we know the savings are needed, <laughs> but you're not sure how. Yeah. So I had been working for some time. Since first year, I had, I've had the opportunity of being an mm. intern. I was running my own home bakery. I think my yes. classmates ate my cupcakes. Mm -hmm. um, and also, you know, I also had a business development opportunity at um, at a virtual reality firm. I really okay. loved that. I, mm. I still love, you know, media. And I loved media even f a lot more from there. Mm. And so by the time I was asking for capital, I approached someone who had w watched my trajectory through mm. trying to work from a very young ah, age. Okay. And they decided to entrust me with those resources. Mm. And it was very fun and exciting. So I just encourage, you know, young people like us, especially those who haven't mm. finished school, if you can work, work. Even if it's towards helping your lecturer in class, mm. you know, you never know. You can type lists for them or yeah. notes or mm. you can sell sweets in class. I mean, doing anything to just help you get ahead financially and be a bit more independent. Because I wanted, you know, pocket money to like mm. invest in fashion things and all that. Mm. I wanted to blog, unfortunately didn't work out <laughs> <All right. laughs> yeah okay. so that was the main thing so you are like a testimony of like um your network is your network because you primarily got the funds from your network yes i did um yeah i think your network is really important mm -hmm. but i won't credit it to myself okay i have very good friends mm -hmm. are very good peers Mm. I think one thing I never compromised on was the quality of peers that I had in school. Ah, uh, okay. Um, I had people who, you know the way we were driven to think big here? Mm. People who would allow me to think big. Mm. People who had the capacity to incubate, let's say, craziness or mm. risk-taking. Yeah. Because, you know, you go somewhere and you, you can imagine if I just told people I want to do film, a film for exam. And mm. even you're so used to shonaring. You know, <laughs> so I was like, you know what, I'm going to hang to these friends who okay. I've been working with them mm. and they help me. They are like incubators to me and mm. we are incubators to each other. Okay. So it's good to have those friends who, you know, you can call, like I can call you and say, and to go into forex and you'll not be judging me like oh you know you're earning 10 uh, care to this place you can't afford you, you can't, can't get into you it you can't make it you know those people yeah who say you can't make it mm. you can't do it mm. you really have to scrap them off your list because mm. things don't thrive when that sort of negativity is tolerated so uh. my friends were in a class i have this set of friends who are in a class ahead of me and I really held on to them because I used to see how they used to go through school and mm. they used to work as well and try and be independent. And I learned so much from them and I still do learn so much okay. from them. So mm -hmm. I'm so grateful to have friends like those, even peers who encourage me. Mm -hmm. And also, okay, negative thinkers are still good because they make you... Like give you a push? Yes. Uh, yeah, they make you think of what you can do better. 
perfect yes. that's the word you know mm. you also need not to say oh because you think negatively about me maybe you know we can't be so overconfident in ourselves yeah. mm. listen to what that negative think i saying mm. and just say okay if you think if you're saying that i could do better is only because you expect better mm. that's great yeah that's good and i'll be like wow you know i have the potential to do mm. so much more that's why i've been given flack so mm. i have to rise up to the occasion so it's an interesting dynamic all right um so you recently produced the film nakupenda yes i'm sorry i missed the premiere but i know you're you going to be screening soon tell yes. us about nakupenda nakupenda oh my gosh wow it's i love it first mm. of all i know i didn't seem to, i i'm not meaning to sound cheesy when i say that yeah but nakupenda was a project about um I think the foundation of what my creativity is. Mm-hmm. I am very driven by embracing love in everything that I do. That's been influenced by my faith, that's been influenced by my upbringing, mm-hmm. that's been influenced by, you know, what I've experienced that is good from other people. Mm-hmm. So what we did, we created a film that was tackling the issue of intermarriage between uh, two different communities okay. you know here in kenya we have a struggle when uh, for sure yeah some mm. communities they're like yeah your boyfriend is from that community <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, it's like like <laughs> so we wanted to use art to solve that problem. yeah mm. and i was doing a bridal collection in class so i was like you know what why not and so we created this scene where these two communities are mm. trying to intermarry but you know our broken backgrounds just keep interfering with some of the good things that happen mm. in life so you see a play of of where somebody had a bad experience that making mm. them feel intimidated and insecure mm. and that makes them lash out mm. and that's what happens with us you know sometimes we don't really understand why you know communities conflict Mm-hmm. but we have to understand that negativity came from somewhere yeah. th- giving that empathetic view mm-hmm. and also we created this uh uh villain called mm-hmm. the huha it's like mm-hmm. a spirit being that feeds on negativity and strife mm-hmm. okay so we wanted to resonate with how um certain things like the handshake mm-hmm increase like if you if you notice the day after the national prayer breakfast the shilling went up against the dollar ah really oh, okay you know mm-hmm. just simple things like that mm-hmm. when this peace in kenya investors come yeah. so we want to use art to tackle such mm-hmm. things people need to know that peace will bring the prosperity mm-hmm. of the nation so we brought out this villain that used to feed on strife every time there's strife in the community it wakes up mm. and you need to watch the film to see yeah i'm so going to be watching the film on friday i uh, the series is called short shots oh yeah good then so hard to say it but it will be at prestige plaza yes uh, yes short short shots is organized by docky box okay amazing organization that's promoting mm. you know film in Kenya and uh-huh. um it will be screening from 6:30 will be six films showing mm. and Nakupenda will be one of them for the Valentine's editions of you know yeah. short short shorts for February so we are so excited mm. our team is just ready to meet you guys i mm. want to see people and just interact with you and mm. share my love share my art mm. share my experiences and you know bring this story to the world because we need to mm. hear um each other's stories it makes such a huge difference ah all right let me just get back to something i wanted to ask mm. so what advice would you give to a young person who wants to get into the film space um first of all have a foundation mm. have a story getting into business for money can be great mm. but it's not lasting yeah the companies that have vision are the ones that stay 50 years 100 years mm. when you look at especially family businesses they mm. are very good at having that foundation that vision that message mm. so know what you're doing mm know why you're doing it and know who you want to impact yeah then from there 
you have to be very hard headed about your vision because mm-hmm. not everybody will listen to creatives mm. you know you can open a chama and the first thing people will say i need we need to do real estate mm-hmm. we need to do forex we need to do something else but no one will say we need to buy a painting eh, for sure for sure we no one even think about that <laughs> <laughs> but you see in other countries we have industries like you know bollywood or mm. you have fashion is doing like second to military and mm. weapon supplies yeah. in france oh, so we okay. need to study those industries mm. why shouldn't it do well here so i'm saying you need to be hard headed because you have to prove mm. the sustainability of why this is important oh. and i'd appeal to any investor that supporting the creative industry is very good because it's an emerging market mm. it's a market that's not infiltrated by too many people and if you have the right amount of resources and the right mm. knowledge you can help create organizations that create a standard of structure because sometimes you know you have too many people doing the same thing mm. i'm the singer i'm the songwriter i'm yes. the producer mm. i'm the marketing manager mm. and that's not how corporate works so mm. you the investors tend to shy away yeah but now artists have to learn the business of it mm. the only thing for me as an as a creative is you mm. have to sacrifice to be in those spaces because yeah. you love colors you love music then they bring you numbers and spreadsheets and you're like oh my gosh i'm so tired already <laughs> but you have okay. to learn that yeah. in order to present the facts and mm. the arts on the same level and scale mm. then the combination of those two are what brings sustainability Oh, all right that's pretty great advice for young people and if you are a young person and you are looking to get into that space i hope you've learned a lot like a lot and for any other questions that you may have you may just post them in the comment box below because i'm sure she'll be able to answer um so one last thing uh the series uh, or rather the film Yes. I'm trying not to say short shorts, <laughs> shorts. It's okay. <laughs> But on Friday you said it's at 6:30 at Prestige. It's only yes. 500, right? It's only 500 mm. and um what I'd say is come mm. enjoy local content. Yeah. I was so privileged to watch a, a movie called Lionheart on Netflix. Mm. It was by Genevieve Naji. Mm. It was amazing. There's Plan B by Lola Dion. Yeah, you watch you Plan B. Yeah. How did you like it? It was nice. nice. It was so epic. I yes. can't even believe it was a Kenyan movie. Can you imagine? So yeah. come because the local content it's not all you know this we are so used to a particular style. Yes. But come and see new things and beautiful things and interact mm-hmm. with even people you know your cousin your neighbor could be acting your your future colleague could be acting so you never know um who you who you meet and what you'll see so i encourage everyone to come come at 6 p.m. so that you can grab your popcorn and soda mm-hmm. then we get in at 6:30 to watch and enjoy at the prestige plaza Hi, thank you so much for the great info. And for guys, uh don't forget that you're watching this film actually today at 6:30. Um and then campus edition class starts tomorrow at Luther Plaza 9 a.m. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. See you guys.